about six weeks ago uh, we started changing how we do our meal times. We'd heard about the uh, CAPA and how we were going to try and promote some more independence. So rather than us serving all the meals and pouring tea and putting milk in cups for our residents, it would encourage them to do it for themselves. Uh, the first morning was a bit of a nightmare because nobody seemed to be very happy about it at all. Uh, most of the residents were quite willing to try it, but there were a few that were very reluctant and really not very happy at all. Uh, after a few days, this improved. They eventually started to do it for themselves, but the problem then was some of the staff. They were more reluctant and didn't like the idea at all. But eventually they've come round as well. The teapots were a wee bit of an issue. Um, the first teapot we put on was too heavy for a lot of the residents when it was full of tea. So we actually ordered and they bought smaller teapots Well, I think it's helped with our sense of independence. It's definitely, they're more confident, it builds confidence. It's everyday things they would have done in their own house they're now doing here. You know, residents you would think could never do it and would never do it have su surprised us all really recently, you know. Appetite was poor, fluid intake was poor. They're actually improved greatly. They're eating far more at the table and they're drinking far more because they can do it themselves. <laughs> Quite good. Mm, afternoon tea's lovely. <laughs> oh, it's lovely. Beautiful. Well, it was. <laughs> it's lovely. It's trial and error, re uh, really, but stick with it, you know, because it does work. It really does work. <laughs>